Aloha you guys and welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the title of the video, I went thrift shopping and if you know me, you know that I love a good bargain. You know that I love doing anything I can to try and reduce, reuse, and recycle. You know that I like to share with other people, whether that means giving things to friends or friends giving things to me, things like that. So the store that I went to called Upscale Cheapskate is like my new favorite place. Like I have said before that I don't like shopping and I still don't, but it's more enjoyable to go shopping for clothes when I know that they have been worn by someone else. That sounds kind of weird. I know that they're not ending up in the trash. They're not ending up in the dump. They're perfectly fine, super cute, super affordable, and they're being passed on to someone else. So I'm all for it. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got this past, I guess, like week that I've been here in Augusta. As you guys know, we just moved from Oahu to Georgia. We are now stationed here in Augusta at Fort Gordon. And there are a couple locations for this store in the area. I went to the one on Washington, I believe. It's like, I don't know. I'll put the address somewhere over here. Uptown Cheapskate is also super, super well organized. I just love it. Anyways, enough of the talking. I'm going to show you what I got. And then I will tell you how much I paid for everything. So I went to Uptown Cheapskate on two separate occasions. Since moving to the mainland, I feel like I need to bump up my style or whatever. I cannot just wear like shorts and tank tops and slippers all the time. Here's the first item I picked up. It's just a blouse and it ties at the bottom. Definitely can wear this out to like church. Then I got some pants. They're kind of like gaucho slash palazzo pants. Palazzo, palazzo, I don't know how you say it. It's got an elastic waistband and then it's got a tie string. Not a drawstring, but it just ties at the front. I don't know if you guys can see this, but pants were $29.99, but they were on sale for $14.96. Then what I am super excited about finding at the store were these. Oh my gosh, I have big feet. I wear an 11, probably like an 11 and a half. And these are a size 12. These are the Payless brand. It's Christian Suriano for Payless. Size 12, brand new, never worn. It still has the Payless sticker on here, right there. Originally $34.99, they were on sale at the store for $13.99 but the green sticker meant that I got them for half off, so your girl only paid $7 for these shoes. Anytime I find a comfy, yes, they're comfy, they're padded, a comfy, cute pair of shoes, I am going to snag them because they don't make cute, comfy shoes for Bigfoot like me. They just don't. This shirt is brand new, $46, but I got it for $11.99. I got this like little, I don't know, like you just kind of cover up, it ties in the front. This is from Abercrombie & Fitch. I think everything in here is a size large except for like one pair of shorts. It's an extra large, but it doesn't fit like an extra large. So this was $7.99 and of course 50% off. Everything here that you're going to see from now on is 50% off after the tag price cream colored blouse. It's got the shoulder cutouts. The one thing I don't like about shopping secondhand is the smell of the clothes. Like, I, I don't like the smell of scented laundry detergent. And then either this shirt or something in here has like a slight tinge of cigarette smoke so I don't like that I have to 
douse these in like vinegar or something. That's for the blouse. I love this shirt. Love it, love it, love it. This one right here. It's just a sleeveless blouse. I think this can go with the black pants. And then on to bottoms. These are the extra large shorts that are not actually extra large. They had a lot of rompers at the store and usually rompers don't fit me because I, I think I have a somewhat long torso. It's not like super long, but usually like I have to hunch over and I'm 5'7". Yeah, usually rompers don't fit me, but I did find two that fit me. This is the first one. I love, I don't love these colors in particular, but these colors look good on my skin tone. Therefore, I buy these colors. So they're like neutral, peachy, pink, beige. There, and it buttons down the front halfway, then it ties. And it's just, you know, little shorts, little short rompers. The second romper is a little more dressy. You could get something to cover it up on top, like a duster of some sort. And I could even like wear it, well, I don't know about out here in the South, but definitely back home in Hawaii, I could like wear this to church. And this is brand new. So the last few articles of clothing that I got from Uptown Cheapskate were some workout pieces. I got a sports bra. And this is from Airy. And it's, um, I guess Airy is like a, like loungewear, kind of like, I don't know, lingerie pajama-ish kind of company. So it's not too supportive. I, I'd say it's like medium support. It's definitely not like a bralette and it's not anything for like high intense cardio or anything, but I love the color and I love sports bras. I got a tank top, just a basic black tank top. This is also brand new. 44, I didn't even look at it. Why is a workout tank top $44? Why, why? It is really nice, like nicely made. By Reflex, I don't know, I've never heard of this brand, but retail is $44. <laughs> But your girl got it for $4. Thank you. <laughs> I got another tank top from Airy, and I think this one is brand new as well. Yep, it's brand new. It still has like the sticker on it, it's got the tag. Originally $14.50. $2.50. Yeah. I just like wearing these underneath other shirts, and especially when the weather starts to get cold, I layer, layer. So this will definitely come in handy. Last article, pants, leggings. I love these leggings. I love wild leggings. Maybe not too wild. Six bucks for these guys. This is level eight performance. I don't know what this brand is, but it seems like really good quality. Like it feels thick. And they're full length, which I love full length leggings. I don't like capris. I have capri leggings, but I do not care for them. I like full length. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have an uptown cheapskate in your area, then definitely do check them out. They also honor military, so they give a 10% military discount on top of everything. So all of the pieces that I got were 50% off of the ticket price that you saw. Then at the end, the cashier added on another 10% discount. So for all of these clothes, I paid $54.34, I believe. So under 60 bucks for, I think it's 11. I think that was 11 pieces of clothing. So definitely worth it. And if you don't have an uptown cheapskate in your area, I'm sure that there are plenty of consignment shops in your area. Just go look for them. 
Back in Hawaii, I used to shop at Goodwill, Salvation Army, and Plato's Closet. I guess this is like very similar to Plato's Closet. It has men and women's clothing, and it's got athletic wear, it's got um, dress attire, casual, anything you can think of. There was like a Victoria's Secret pajama set the first time I went, and I almost got it, but I decided not to because I just sleep in sweats. So once again, buying secondhand is a really good way to help out with the whole Go Green movement. It reduces your carbon footprint. So many clothes are thrown away every year. Like I think it's in the billions of pounds. There's so much fast fashion and there's just so much waste and even the amount of water and electricity and just all the energy that goes into making clothing is so wasteful that buying secondhand or buying from shops like this that even have brand new pieces in their store is really helpful for the environment. And it also saves you money. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys later. Aloha, aloha.